Hello, today I'm going to read Tomatoes from Mars by Arthur Yorinks and Mort Drucker. And in conclusion, Dr. Shuckle announced at the World Planetary Conference, the reason the red planet is red is the audience burst out laughing. Then, last summer, they came from outer space. They landed in Minnesota. They were tomatoes from Mars. As mankind innocently slept, the tomatoes moved silently towards Minneapolis. No town or village was spared their hallmark red stain. At dawn, they entered the city. The population panicked. In defense of the human race, some people threw rocks or chairs or anything they could get their hands on. But the tomatoes, impervious to pain, kept on coming. It's no use, cried the mayor. Run for your lives! Families fled in all directions. Oh, it was terrible, terrible. What did the tomatoes want? What could they possibly want from us? As the tomatoes made a mess of Minneapolis, even more tomatoes were landing. There were sightings all across the country. Was this the end of civilization as we know it? Scientists throughout the nation worked feverishly struggling to find a way to stop the invasion. But one scientist was working even harder. If only we could communicate with the tomatoes, Dr. Shuckle told his niece Sally, I know we could end this madness. Meanwhile, at the White House, the president was desperate. What are we going to do? How about the Marines, sir? Someone suggested. Just then, the phone rang. It was Shuckle. He had a plan. Uh-huh, said the president. I see, said the president. Let's do it, said the president. Shuckle's plan was put into motion. Highly trained pilots were sent aloft to fill the sky with symbols of welcome. There was man. There was woman. There was tomato. It didn't work. Get me Shuckle, said the president. Shuckle, the whole country is getting smeared. We have to get rough. No, no, said Shuckle. The entire earth will be covered in sauce. You've got to give me more time. Twelve hours, Shuckle, and then we blast them. We're doomed, said Shuckle. Still, the tomatoes must have a weakness, but what is it? What is it? Uncle, said Sally, you can't think on an empty stomach. Oh, I'll just have a little salad, Shuckle said. Coming right up, said Sally. Now, what kind of dressing would you like? It doesn't matter, Sally. I'll wait. What did you say? What kind of dressing would you like? I've got it, Shuckle shouted. Suddenly, Sally screamed, Uncle, look! The tomatoes are coming! The tomatoes are coming! The tomatoes were coming. Shickle rushed to the pantry and began filling a spitzer. Then, as the Martian fruits came crashing through, Spitz, Schickel spits them with extra virgin olive oil, red wine vinegar, fresh basil, and a little pinch of garlic. The tomatoes stopped, shook, shimmied, and scrammed. When Dr. Schickel's breakthrough was announced, everyone started spitzing the invaders. Yes, the tomatoes cut quite a groove retreating to their home planet. Earth was saved. And Schickel, at a lavish White House ceremony, 
Dr. Schickel was awarded the Red Badge of Courage. And henceforth, his planetary theories, including the one about the onion rings of Saturn, were taken quite seriously. I hope you enjoyed today's reading of Tomatoes from Mars. Remember to like and subscribe.